Power Roll App Quick Start Video 1. The first Power Roll App Quick Start Video shows us how to create, save, open, and close a database. Also, this video shows how a user can create dimensions, members, and hierarchies. To start, let's create a new database. Creating a Power Roll App database is the first step in developing an application to store and model your data. The Power Roll App database file, which has a .olp file extension, will contain all the components of your model. As you'll see, these components include dimensions and their members, cubes, cube formulas, and slices, which display your data. First, click the File icon, and then click New. In the New Database dialog box, click Browse. In the Save As dialog box, look for the directory where you'd want to save your new database, or you can create one. In this case, let's save the new database in the Quick Start Power Roll App folder. Enter the name of the database in the File Name field and click the Save button. In the New Database dialog box, the database name and the path and file name of the database file are displayed. Click OK. Note that in the Power Roll App window, more command icons become active. Click the File icon and then click Save to save your newly created database. Click the File icon again and then click Close to close the current active database. Notice that the Power Roll App database name on the status bar is blank. So now, let's open the new database we recently created. Click the File icon and then click Open. In the Open data Database dialog box, browse for the .olp file and then click Open. And then click OK. Notice the Power Roll App database name is displayed on the status bar. Next, we create dimensions. Go to the Model tab and click Dimension. In the Dimensions dialog box, enter the name of the dimension on the top field beside the Add button. Clicking Add displays the recently added dimension in the list box below. Continue adding dimensions, and when you're done, click OK. Now, we add members to the dimensions that we created. In the Model tab, click Dimension, select a dimension, and click Edit. This opens the Dimension Hierarchy dialog box for editing. Click on the Create New Member icon and enter a member name. Click the Set icon to continue adding more members. Alternatively, you can press the Control Enter keys on your keyboard if you, to do the same thing. In this video demo, members added are the months of a year from January to December. Click and drag the members to rearrange them to the list accordingly. Add aggregate members for this dimension, such as quarter 1, quarter 2, quarter 3, and quarter 4. Complete the months dimension by adding total year and rearrange them accordingly. Once the members have been defined for the months dimension, the hierarchy of these members must also be defined. So now let's create a dimension hierarchy. Drag total year from the members list box on the left to the hierarchy definition box on the right, just below months. Click on the quarter one, press the shift key, and holding it down, click on quarter four. This should highlight quarters two and three in between. Drag and place the selection just below total year in the hierarchy definition box. You'll notice that a sigma sign for sum appears beside total year, indicating that total year is now an aggregate member the sum of the members you place below it. Continue creating the hierarchy. Select January, hold down the shift key, and then select March. And in the members list box, so that February is also highlighted. Drag and place the selection just below quarter one in the hierarchy definition box. Now the sigma sign appears besides quarter one. Pressing the control key, select April, May, June, release the control key. Now drag that selection to the right under quarter two. Continue to do the same for quarters three and four. Select July, August, September, and drag them under quarter three, and select October, November, and December, and drag them under quarter four. Close the dimension hierarchy box by clicking the OK icon. The green check mark found in the rightmost of the toolbar. You are redirected to the dimensions dialog box. Click OK. 
Good job. Visit ParisTech.com for more information.